this is All India Radio, Shillong, the Northeast News Bulletin, read by Miranda Bla. Meghalaya Deputy Chief Minister Preston Timsong has informed that a plasma bank will soon be set up at the Northeastern Indira Gandhi Regional Institute of Health and Medical Sciences, or Negrums, in Shillong. The process to set up the plasma bank is in full swing, he said, after a review meeting yesterday. Mr. Timsong said that the plasma bank will help in fighting COVID-19 in Meghalaya and the Northeastern region as a whole. In Meghalaya, 22 more COVID-19 cases were detected yesterday, taking active positive cases to 595. Director of Health Services Dr. Aman War informed that all 19 new cases in East Khasi Hills were that of civilians, including high-risk contacts and returnees. One BSF in West Garo Hills and two civilians in Southwest Garo Hills also tested positive. East Khasi Hills District has 487 active cases, including 188 BSF personnel, 241 civilians and 58 armed forces personnel. West Khasi Hills has 5 active cases, Ribhoi 51, West Giant Hills 16 and East Giant Hills 17. West Garo Hills has 15 cases, while South West Garo Hills and South Garo Hills have two cases each. Till reports received yesterday, 339 persons in Meghalaya have recovered from the viral infection. In Nagaland, 93 new positive cases were reported yesterday, taking the confirmed cases up to 2,498. The State Health and Family Welfare Department informed that 88 cases were from Dimapur and 5 from Kohima. These include 59 armed forces personnel, 14 returnees, 19 contacts and one other. Two more deaths due to COVID-19 were registered in Nagaland yesterday, taking the tally of deceased to six. Meanwhile, 26 more patients have also recovered from the infection. Nagaland's active cases were at 1,804 till yesterday, all of which were asymptomatic. So far, 685 patients have recovered in the state from the disease. Manipur Chief Minister N. Biren Singh has expressed concern over the rising COVID-19 cases in the state, which has surged up to 1,187. The cases include 502 Army and Central Armed Forces personnel, besides 695 civilians. He appealed to every person to recommit to adopt preventive actions of social distancing, wearing face masks, washing hands with soap and avoid all social gatherings. There have been positive cases within the police department too. Mr. Singh pointed out. In a statement issued yesterday, the Chief Minister said the Manipur government has spared no effort to increase the number of COVID care centres besides facilities and equipment for more testing. The Arunachal Pradesh government has adopted the 3T formula of testing, tracing and treating to contain the spread of COVID-19 which has not entered community transmission stage. Most of the cases have been through local transmission, Chief Minister Pema Khandu told a press conference in Itanagar yesterday. He said Arunachal is among the top six states in the country in terms of per million tests ratio for detecting COVID-19. The state had reported 1,790 cases. At present, there are 682 active, while 1,105 people have recovered from the disease and three have died. The village and local council elections will be held in Mizoram on the 27th of this month, State Election Commission announced yesterday. Elections to 558 village councils and 83 local councils in Aizol Municipal Corporation area will be held on the same day. Of the 2,464 seats in village councils in Mizoram, 633 are reserved for women. As many as 148 seats are reserved for women out of the 545 local council seats. In Assam, indefinite curfew was imposed at Thila Mara and Dhikya Juli police station area in Sonitpur district last night following clash between two groups. The incident occurred when a motorcycle rally was taken out at Garu Doa area. Several persons were injured. A mob also attacked the vehicle of the district magistrate when he went to the spot. Police resorted to blank firing to disperse the crowd. Additional forces have been deployed at the site of the incident. Meghalaya Chief Minister Konrad K. Sangma yesterday inspected the ongoing construction of the Shillong International Centre for Performing Arts and Culture at Maudyangdyang, which is in the last 
stage of completion. The construction and handing over of the project will be completed within this financial year. The prestigious project is being constructed at an estimated cost of over 108 crore rupees. The Union Ministry of Tribal Affairs has agreed to sanction additional 12.85 crore rupees for light and sound show in two auditoriums, an official statement said in Shillong yesterday. And with that, we end the Northeast News Bulletin, which came to you from the Shillong Station of All India Radio. Have a nice day.